Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Lower Manhattan, Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, it's November 11th, 2024, but we have things to report. We have things to report. As we reported first on Friday, um, Sean Combs has asked for bail. The third time may be the charm. He was denied by Judge Ternofsky. He was denied by Judge Carter. Then the case was reassigned to Judge Subramanian. They had appealed to the Second Circuit, held it in abeyance, and now they finally have filed. And there was a, then a scheduling filing saying that the argument may be on November 21 or 22. We will cover it, Inner City Press. Also, Sean Combs has asked to dismiss the civil case of uh, Crystal McKinney. He's in jail, but his lawyers are working away claiming that the, uh, that the interplay between the city and state uh, tolling of the statute of limitations favors Combs, and it must be dismissed. We'll see whether that one works. Meanwhile, on the Eric Adams docket, uh, Mohammed Bahi, who was uh, charged, charged as part of... Uh, the whole corruption scheme surrounding Adams. His case has been a, a number of times, they were supposed to indict you within uh, 30 days of the complaint. Motion to continue, motion to continue in the, in the interest of justice. We surmised and reported that that might indicate a willingness to discuss a pretrial resolution, AKA cooperation. Um, now others have reported it as well, and we'll just have to see what it, but, but of course, Eric Adams may have a trump card, so to speak, uh, in his back pocket. Nobody's quite sure of that. Now. On that front, we've written this morning already a story, and the story involves U.S. ambassadorship to the United Nations. Trump has, not only was it rumored, it was confirmed that he is nominating, going to nominate, at least Stefanik, to be the new U.S. ambassador. Now, there's much to be said, and we'll say much, but what I do want to say is that the current team, Linda Thomas-Greenfield, Antony Blinken, they've been ineffectual. They've been ineffectual. I have to, whatever your views are, I'll say it from a personal perspective, they've been asked to raise, if not resolve, raise the issue of U.S.-based inner city press being banned from the United Nations by Antonio Guterres and his American head of censorship, Melissa Fleming. And they've done absolutely nothing. It's that they love the U.N. Forget, you know, it's that they love the U.N. too much. They think that even if you do like the U.N., it should be reformed. And if the, the main power to reform it is in love with it and wants to be seen as a friend of all the world, um, and as... It put, so... Let's see. The first time, it was promised under Nikki Haley that there would be reform. There was none, to be quite honest about it. And one of the first uh, truth socials that Trump sent out was that he was not going to offer a position to Pompeo or Nikki Haley. Now there's this proposal. And all I can say is there's, <laughs> it couldn't get worse at the United Nations. And so let's see. Inner City Press. The week begins. And uh, you'll be seeing more. InnerCityPress.com.